Okay, welcome back to Sonic Heroes. Last time we went through Team Rose with um, Lewis and Hub, I think. And now we're doing the last team of the four with Team Chaotix. And I have two more guests for this one. Do, 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 do. Team Chaotix, they're detective who are on your side. It's K147. It's been a while <laughs> since I've actually been here, actually. Yeah. Haven't done the... Co haven't done... We haven't done comms together for a while. He replaced me. It, it's official. I've said it here on his channel and not anywhere else. I have been replaced. <laughs> what, by Jason? Yes. <laughs> I, mean... I, I looked at you guys when you guys did Sonic 06 for the first time and it's like, I felt so betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. we had something. I've got a bad yeah. This is also kind of weird hearing their old voices too, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, also, Scrappy's here too, by the way. <laughs> he hasn't said anything. Is he muted? Yeah, what? Well, is he? Yes, he's... I'm muted. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? I was just like, dude, I don't want to do this all by myself. <laughs> yeah, the, the, there has been, like, a huge... Well, not a huge, but a pretty big gap between Rose and Chaotix, because it's been, like, the hardest time trying to get the three of us together at the same time. I love time zones. It's yeah. my favorite part about being in a group. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, who's excited for stage gimmicks? Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Luckily the first one's fairly easy. Yeah. Honestly though, like, I this is like the only team I actually can appreciate in Heroes because it's actually different. Yeah, because at this point you play the same game three times, like, with like minor differences, so some... Actually, I played this one second because I was just okay. like, who the fuck are all you guys, seriously? Well, it's funny, like, the first time I played this game was uh, interesting, because I actually, um, shared the one file with, like, my siblings. So, um, what, one of my sisters had Team Sonic, my brother had Team Dark, I had Team Rose, and, um, my oldest sister didn't really play this game, so we just kind of said, screw it, let's just play Cha Chaotix one time, and, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this two right here. Yep. There's two. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, little, been a bit since I played Chaotix. So yeah, that... right? I feel the same way, too. It's been so long since I played Heroes, and yeah, yeah I still kind of remember it. Yeah. It's kind of disgusting how I actually remember that, to be honest. I can. I don't know though. Like, I don't know if my opinion of heroes has really changed since the last time. I think the last time we did this was like, oh god, it was like a on C's, ago. like on, on the original C's channel. Okay, so yeah, I don't remember anything I said from that long ago. Holy shit! To be honest, I don't remember like half the things I say in any of the commentaries. I somehow remember what I say in mine, but I don't remember anything from these ones. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Sometimes I, s I remember, like, random stuff, but... But, like, out of, all th out of all the people who have been here, like, me and you, like, Nick, we probably had, like, the most experiences with, like, doing heroes together. Please don't remind me. I still, <laughs> I still hold a grudge to this very day. He made me sit through the entirety of heroes. I still have not forgiven him for that. <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> That was, it's still, I say that was it as bad. a joke though. I always say that as a joke. Please understand, I always say that yeah. as a joke. That, that, that was so bad though. That was back when I was like, kind of naive and I didn't really know the best ways to do playthroughs. Because I was also back when I was still using a crappy camcorder. <laughs> oh god, don't remind me about those days. I'm kind of just like to myself like, Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I remember, like, the, the rerun we did was just, um, Jason talking about how there's no sound effects on the PS2 or something. Oh, I said that too, I'm pretty sure, at one point, though. Yeah. Um, certain sound effects are actually not present in the PS2 version, because that was the yeah. first version I played. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, I still can't... Hmm? What was that? There's sound runs are ingrained into my psyche. <laughs> So uh, what's I your? Can't I kind of can't remember. Isn't this one just literally like a standard like get to the end mission? Yeah, pretty much. 
I'm kind of surprised it's that early too because um I mean I think the secret the second version is um you can't get detected. I yeah, I know this one hmm. sucks. Also they have shield enemies on literally the second level. Come on dude. Yep. Well, I'm gonna make uh, every teammate member worth something. I think they do a decent enough job in balancing the usefulness between the three members. Oh, for just in general or just for chaotic? Uh, in general. Okay. Because I, the, I was gonna say, yeah. I was just gonna say, oh, chaotic. Well, I mean, at least they all do something aside from their what they're supposed to do, you know? Yeah. Well, mine is vector though, because the SPO is just used for espionage missions, and Charmy just access these flowers though. So I guess. See, like, if they did more stuff like this, though, then I think Heroes probably would have been better. Mm. I go back in it, though, and I'm just like, oh, God, it's just, it's just, I'm playing the same team, literally. Yeah. Uh, the reskin. It's like, if, if they just made it so, like, uh, uh, every, the, when you play the game with another team, at least change the level design enough, or, like, even or just do, do it in a different order. Yeah, do it in a different order, or even make it so... It's more, it's like SA1 or even 06 where they uh, go to different areas. It's kind of sad that we're, we're saying that Sonic 06 did something better than a fucking older Sonic game. <laughs> yeah, or just a better yeah. game as well. It, it, it's, it's, it's annoying, it's annoying to me because uh, this is actually one of my favorite gameplay styles, but it's bogged down by the fact that the having, to, like, completing the game just falls flat on its face because you have to keep doing the same stuff. Yo, Charmy, you gotta, yo, yo, Charmy, you gotta, like, wake up, dude. <laughs> Did you see him? He was, like, spacing out right there. Yeah. He's six years old, give him a break. <laughs> no, no. That's like saying Cream's freaking eight years old, dude. Never. I'll never let it go. <laughs> I find it, it it's kind of, six. it's kind of weird really? how, like... Sure Cream is, um, eight. And uh, if you look at Cream, no, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure, sure Cream is six. Like manual though, um, the manual says she's younger than Pale. She's she's six. Yeah. Really? Okay, hang on, hang on. I I, I must look this up. You two carry the conversation real quick. Okay, well, I was go I was gonna ask like uh, like general um, what what show you guys is like uh, experiences with Paris? Like how did you like first get into it and stuff? Oh fuck! I am wrong. Cream is six. How do, how do I? Why did I think she was eight? <laughs> well, that shut me up. Play. I got my father got this for my brother and I. Game we own after Adventure Two, so. Hmm. Pace, admittedly. This was the, not counting like 3D Blast. Uh, this was my first 3D Sonic game. Wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah well, actually, not not gonna lie, I shouldn't be saying that too because this was my one of my first 3D games on PS2. Unfortunately, yeah. the inferior version. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was. I know. It, it it sucked to be me as a kid, actually. I go. I I, <laughs> I didn't have a GameCube growing up. I had, I was stuck with a freaking PS2. I was the I opposite. I didn't even enjoy half the games that we had on it. I was the opposite because um I. I didn't um, get a PS2 until much later, and I had a GameCube for most of the sixth generation. But when when we got a PS2, it was like when it was basically on its last legs, so didn't really get to play it much. How else are we gonna make the red? Hmm. I'm kind of yeah. I'm kind of just thinking to myself though, isn't Chaotic kind of the more comedic group of um, heroes? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I kind of am not sure how to feel about that, to be honest. Oh, that definitely can be, like, the comic uh, comic, comic relief in, like, Sonic X. Feels bad, man. You bring back the, the old dank, the, the old dank character that no one even remembers, though. And you, yeah, make, the, and you demote them to being a joke. Yeah, they're pretty much, the, the, this, mean, this game is exactly. basically... I this mean, game. they had wrong appearance before, this wasn't exactly some dishonor for... Them? Yeah, well, I mean, like this. This game is basically a reboot for the Chaotix, because in um, I know in Knuckles Chaotix, like it talks about Charmy being sophisticated, and it, considering how he is, <laughs> cons considering how he is in this game onwards, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm just like, what the fuck are you smoking, mate? Yeah, so they they trying to just. Yeah. 
for like certain Sonic teams that that Knuckles Chaos isn't canon. <laughs> It may as well just not be because like it also has like SPO wasn't a ninja, the chaotic detective agency didn't exist yet, and yeah, it's just yeah. But yeah, the but again, yeah, the doing chaotics is not um, just a nice uh, refresher, of course, because um, you're doing you're doing like mission-based uh, um, stages this time, and it makes it a bit more unique. Uh, just doing something a bit different from before. I did actually kind of enjoy playing these stages the most because they had... They had something like, different going for them, yeah. I guess it was easier to not die in these levels. <laughs> up until, like, Rail Canyon. Yeah. Really? You actually... Really? Hmm. Yeah, because, um... I mean, like, Rail Canyon changes quite a lot with Chaotix from what I remember. Oh yeah, there's like that whole like there's a circle of rails or something like that. Yeah, there's like this this uh, thing where you have to find switches. That's like completely new. Here we go. Yeah, but they actually kind of changed the level design a bit depending on your team. That would have been nice too. Yeah. Instead of just something uncreative of oh less enemies, more enemies. Okay, yeah, pretty much. Or That's like really the level yeah. design of this game, dude. Yeah. Uh, I kind of don't like that to be honest. It's kind of lazy. Yeah, because it's, it's yeah, because like, if uh, they made like a Heroes 2 where every team was unique, I think it would be one of the best Sonic games, honestly. Yeah, did it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, like if you, if they ever did make Heroes 2, which would be you know be a freaking miracle though, because yeah. I don't know if we ever will get that though, but. Yeah, they should either like change up the level design, what uh, levels each team does though, and at least make them so that there's something unique about each team. Yeah, I think we need to. So, so there's actually a reason to actually pick that team, you know? Yeah. We'll always hate the robots with the spears. Yeah, because the thing oh, of this... their, hitbox, their hitbox. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, because the, the thing of the hitbox, it doesn't. I don't think this happens in Shadow, but like, if you home and attack towards the spear, you just get damaged, and it's annoying. Because apparently the spear is a hitbox. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's, that makes sense though, but... It, it makes sense, really but it, it, it makes sense, but in uh, practice it's really annoying to deal with. Yeah, sure, I'm level 3. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. So what's your guys' like general feelings towards this game then? Played it in more than ten years, so I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the same boat. I haven't played this game since um, we all beat it. So uh, honestly, this is like me doing this playthrough right here. Like this is probably the first time I've played it since that playthrough too. <laughs> yeah, right. I've been in. <laughs> I've been. I've been in a like read like doing going through this game has. Going go me back into a pretty big Sonic mood because I've had this urge to replay SA2 recently. I've had this. I have this nagging feeling that I should LP forces, um, oh, Lost World, and Boom at some point. Though, and I'm just like, oh no, please, please, those are the only games I haven't done. Please, I don't want to do those yet. I, <laughs> I, I have plans to do forces, but like, I want to do the other games first. And yeah, I need uh, to actually. Get good at the other games because I still yeah. I still have bad memories of Lost World and I bet you if I played it though I probably would still rage like I did when I first played. <laughs> well, uh, my thing with um forces specifically is that it's just it's so it, it's such a mindless game. Mm -hmm. It's too it's too easy and there's like a lot of it is just literally boost to win. Dude, I I, I miss boost to win, but I kind of agree that it is kind of easy. Yeah, because it's like... If I could beat it in one sitting and just say to myself, Wow, I'm probably not going to play this game again. I think that's a bad sign. Yeah, because it's like one of those things where it feels so lifeless. Like, it feels like they made the game because they had to, not because they wanted. It kind of feels like they wanted to make Generations 2 because, you know, that was the good game and yeah. that actually sold well. Yeah, just for... I, the, I still yeah. say that, though. Like, Forces is kind of like Generations, except... 
doesn't feel as good. Yeah, it's basically generations if it had no love, love and care, and the level design was just mm -hmm. crap. <laughs> I think the only reason why I also made it through that entire game, though, was my OC. <laughs> Son, I mean, Joker the Wolf, best OC character to grace the, the uh, Sonic fandom. If I if I um give uh, forces anything, I it's better than Shadow R Six. <laughs> That's not saying a lot, but it I do agree. It is better than those two games. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's also, I think it's also better than Secret Rings, too, but that's not yeah. pretty much, you know? Yeah. And all, all of, like, the really obvious, obvious like, mega bad ones. <laughs> what do we count as mega bad? <laughs> uh, the free... If Sonic, goes sick to, if Sonic goes sick and fucking Shadow are actually not mega bad, what do we consider mega bad? <laughs> well, I, I generally consider, like, uh, the free games we mentioned to be, like, part of the, the Dark Age. Or, like, because, like, people... Because like um, it's a thing people like to talk about a lot with how it's like it was like after SA2 or Heroes, people like to say like a, the Dark Age happened, um, and I I tend to view like Shadow 06 and Secret Rings as like the Dark Age trilogy, if you will. Because um, yeah, those, I yeah. agree. I'm just trying to think if there's any other games that. No, we can't say Black Knight was actually good. I don't care what yeah. anyone says, dude. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I think starting with uh, Unleashed, I think ga the game started to get a bit better. They started picking up their slack, thank God. Yeah. I, I didn't know what I would do with myself if I had to sit through, like, <laughs> some more bad games after what I had to go through. Yeah. And, like. Uh, I'm this. This is coming from a guy who enjoys playing Secret Rings, but I f I know full well how bad the game actually is. I'm still amazed to this. Day. I'm still amazed that he actually 100 percented Secret Rings. I still can't, yeah. I can't. W you couldn't pay me to 100 percent that game, dude. I wouldn't do it or nowadays. Yeah, uh, he he really is. I am too to a degree though, but I know my limits. I wouldn't do it now. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Times have changed. Definitely yeah. changed. I, I don't have as I don't have as much time or patience nowadays. Cause they some of those gold medals can go screw off and die. It's way too strict. Honestly though, I still have never figured out how to get a gold medal in that game. I think I got I it on a razor gin and I was just like, okay, it's good enough for me. I think a lot of it is time based, but I'm not sure. But it's really it's it's really strict for no reason. I'm glad it's just not just me though, because I, I, I was never good. At, I never got good at Secret Rings though, because I just never understood the grading system in that game. Yeah. At least in like the newer ones, you just beat the level fast, not get hit, and just you know have a bunch of rings, and you know easy. Yeah. I think there's a gold robot down there. Um, hiding below. Not this one though. The next section. Yeah. God, how do I still? How do I still remember this? Oh, here we go. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Let's... Yeah, remember this? Yeah, I remember the glitch. Let's go. <laughs> I never do these, like, uh, hit the actual switches for these gold turtles. Yeah, you just tease, you just team blast cheese them. Yeah. All right, yeah, get ready. You're gonna see punching. Oh, okay, I was just like, okay, it's SBO. I was gonna say, whenever I play, I always get a lot of vector, um, victory quotes. Oh, yeah, same. Yeah. It just oh. sounds like a very... a marginally less raspy Lucario. <laughs> yeah. A less raspy or Sean Chamel. Oh, God, the <laughs> most... One of, one of the most retarded regions to have a boss fight. <laughs> Language. What do you think is dumber, actually? This one of the of one against Team Rose. Uh, probably this one, because, uh, at least, um... Oh, actually, no, 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 that's actually not a good comparison. This one, or Team Sonic versus Team Rose? Probably the Team Rose, the Team Rose one, because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. This thing. <laughs> this time, there's no way out of marrying me, so now I'm gonna kill you. And this one, hey, who are those assholes over there? Hey, we better kick their ass. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, at least Omega kind of looks like one of Eggman. Yeah. Like what they, they can at least, they can at least kind of, they can at least, what the frick? Yeah, <laughs> the team fights are retarded. 
like, yes, character fights have always been kind of hmm, and usually Sonic games. <laughs> the Sonic game, lol. They, they were pretty good in Generations, at least. Yeah, at least that, they took... Is... No, I mean, like, character fights that had other playable characters that you had to fight. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, SA2 wasn't terrible. It's better than in Heroes, where it lasted yeah. more than 30 seconds. Yeah, because it actually felt decently designed for what it was worth. I still think Sonic vs. Shadow and Green Forest is one of the best boss fights in, like, the series. Well, in terms of just, like, what it, like, what it was? Aesthetically, aesthetically, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 um, the running one, it does work because they're both fast, but uh, for some reason, I <gasps> don't really like it as much. Oh, dang it, I think I messed this up. Like, th there's this weird glitch you can do where you, like, uh, f f uh, like, basically dunk the other characters as, as vector. So they fall into a pit and die for a little bit. So then you just gather them back up with Charmy and you just go flying in the air. Thunder shoot. Oh, I in... haven't seen that one actually. Yeah, you just thunder shoot uh, into the uh, slot machine and then they. It happens so like they can't get back to you, so they, they're just looped in the slot machine and then they just keep get winning rings for you. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, sounds I, like... I... Yeah. It sounds like the no brainer, <laughs> no brainer strat. Yeah, I don't know. I I have no idea how it actually works. So, okay, come on. Quick, look up a guide. Someone look up a guide real quick. <laughs> Cause I see speedrunners do it all the time. But yeah, this stage sucks. I want sucks. to know what the world record is for actually doing all five stories of heroes. Oh yeah. I want. To, I actually want to know because I could not do one team in one setting sometimes. I can do well, what. Maybe, I can do a team maybe in that's one maybe setting. not true. Maybe I could. Maybe I maybe uh, I wouldn't like like maybe like five years ago, but I'm much yeah, I'm much better at the game now than I was. Young and naive, yeah, I agree too. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm much better at the game now than I was before. I think we all are, to be honest, though. Yeah. I always thought Heroes had a nice aesthetic to it. Yeah. Level level is one of the best. Know, honestly, though, level design wise, they're actually pretty nice looking. Yeah. With the exception of a few, in my opinion, I think um um oh I can't think of what oh, I'm crap. Of my head now. No, I have <laughs> wow, with no emotion, good shit, SBL. Dang it. Okay, screw this. I hate this stage, man. Honestly, I think it's just for chaotic. You just have to find 200 rings. Hey, are you excited for the secret mission? 500 yeah. rings. No. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Nope. No, thank you. Because I don't mind... I mean... Yeah, I don't mind Chaotix on the main story, but like... A lot of those extra missions can just go die. Especially one that involves blue fire. Yep. Good fucking lord. <laughs> I don't even know how... Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is a late um, observation, but uh, is there any reason why Rouge's cat suit never returned? Oh, for Thank message. God it doesn't. Oh, I don't know. No, it doesn't. Thank God. It just goes back to like default after Shadow. Mm. It's actually, I mean, it's technically appropriate for her occupation. I mm. mean, she's a gun agent, remember? So, I, think, I mean. I think they forget that she is a. Gun agent, some some games. Yeah. I think that I think Shadow's also a gun agent too. Just you know, I'm just remembering that just now. Yeah. Like it's Sonic 06. <laughs> Please don't remind me. Just, what? Why? G U N. Why you do this to yourself, dude. G U N. I think I said that a long time ago. Why do I have a fucking? <laughs> I think I said that a long time ago. Actually, in my Sonic 06 run. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm remembering this now. Actually. <laughs> I don't remember anything I've said during like any 06 playthroughs. I think I remember getting really sad that I I almost had a perfect run of um, final run in Sonic 06 and then I died because I got sucked into a black hole at Shadow. <laughs> oh yeah. The Shadow section has like a lot of like random black holes like that. It's the most BS out of all of them in my opinion. Yeah. Now this is the team they like really want you to go up here with because you can just do this. I know, see, why couldn't they have done this with other teams? Come on, man. <laughs> well, I mean, then for the other teams, you just have to find switches. 
Well, I mean, no, I mean, well, just in terms of like, um, you know, SPO is the only character in the game that can turn invisible and that kind of oh, special right. areas that you normally can't do with other characters. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not like, yeah, not Why are you taking children to gamble with you? <laughs> yeah, isn't that illegal? <laughs> this is illegal, you know. This is illegal, you know. Why does that sound familiar now? I don't know what it actually was. It where it's actually from, but I've heard it. It around. sounds so familiar, though. We. Oh, this game needed a knight's pinball machine. <laughs> I mean, there is one in SA One. Yeah. Exactly. That's cool. That was so cool. I was just like, yeah, I feel old looking this, like looking at this. Right, can we just get the rings, please? No. <laughs> I think I just need like eight more. Yeah, just eight more. Come on, just you break just the barriers. The freaking, um, I know, I know. Thank God they give you a team that lets you get a ring from your final smash. I mean, oh, uh, yeah. I'll smash. Final <laughs> smash? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I, have smash. I still have smash on the brain. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Joker just came out at the time of this recording. Yeah, at the time of this recording, Joker has just been released. I will now drop Roy, Cloud, Chrome, Sonic. <laughs> there, you're all, you're all retired. Joker, I'm a <laughs> Joker main now. <laughs> I don't know about that though. Roy and Crom got buffed too, so I mean. That was an A. Are like. you serious? I thought that took way too long. Huh? Maybe it's just gender. It's because of the, the casino park. Yeah. Because I. I hope the designers were like, oh, these guys are probably gonna spend a whole time <clears throat> getting rings though. Let's just um, you know. They also. Be generous. They also probably took into account like the Eggman taking away your rings and stuff. Hmm. Or the um. The enemy that take your teammates. Yeah. Gosh, I remember that. Really? You have a bad, you have a bad traumatic memory of like your kid teammate getting taken away. Yeah. I'm not sure if I feel traumatic, but I definitely remember that now. <laughs> <laughs> Did it scar you for life or something? Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this is like new therapeutic session. <laughs> Play that for Sonic 06, even though I haven't played No, that wait, I'm not redoing Save that. Save that for Sonic 06? Holy shit, are you gonna play that blind or something? I will never play that game. Dude, you yeah, as a you... Sonic fan, you should at least- I am Sonic fan at Jason best. Dude, dude, uh... dude, dude, but you have, to, you have to experience it like everyone else, dude. <laughs> I would only Experience play it. I would only. I would only play it if you're like really curious. You play it when you have nothing to lose. Yeah, pretty much. What? <laughs> you don't need oh. to collect them again. I I, I brain fired. I thought I had to kill the enemies to open the door. Re-release it on a modern system with in a. Hell like, no! Do you think Sega no. knows anything about re-releasing games properly? Nope, it's all about re-releasing classic games. <laughs> also, uh, they re just... Re they all, did they? Uh, which one? <laughs> oh no! Time classic. Oh, okay, I guess I'm fine. Uh, it's not like Genesis collections and stuff like that, you know? Or just re-releasing, like, the Genesis games in general. Re-release the adventure game games and... There's a rumor going on, like a thing going around about an SA1 remake. I'd be down for that though. What, with yeah. the current voice though, maybe? Uh, I don't know. That... I have to for Eggman and Gamma. Yeah. <laughs> it feels kind of weird though. Like, I can't imagine, like, Roger doing a lot of Ryan Drummond lines. <laughs> Only Ryan Drummond can be Ryan Drummond. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't remind oh, me, Eggman. Don't remind me, Eggman. <laughs> don't you hate that when he he's always like, "What's the matter? You're only halfway there." <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, it, God, even no. even if you're like, you're like super fast. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, shut up, dude. Yeah. I don't know why you. I don't know why you need me to collect all these chips, anyways. You know. <laughs> Sturdy platformers. <laughs> Go find those MacGuffins. <laughs> This is not Chaos Emerald this time. Thank fuck it's not Chaos Emerald. Well, I mean, they're still in the game, but yeah. <laughs> in a special stage, though, not in not in the level where he goes, where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Yep, that's next game. 
Hmm. Oh, that place like is going to be a train wreck. I forgot that's Adventure 2 Heroes and Shadows game form a kind of loose trilogy. Yeah, pretty much. Like, this is like the only time where there's like, like an arc uh, that goes on between more than just one game. Which I kind of like, actually. Uh, I'm surprised they don't do that nowadays, to be honest. Yeah, like, every game nowadays is more of its just own thing. <laughs> but better or worse. The first Shadow is the last... ...flying game last... before... ...Sonic 06 tried to reboot everything. Yeah, and that didn't go too well. It really did. I, 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 I don't know why they tried to do that, to be honest. Oh, come on, let me get the chip. I can't... Any franchise that booted itself faster than Sonic. Because <laughs> I. You can tell they j just. F uh, for, like, just gave up on the, the um, whole uh, reboot thing with 06. Because the fact that Generations has, like, levels from, like, all the games. That's and also, nice though, but like, yeah. And also, just the fact that 06 just bombed. Well, I mean, that's can you? Uh, I, there's that whole thing that like maybe if Microsoft didn't rush Sega, it could have been a good game. There's that whole thing about that though. I'm kind there's of like, a lot. Sorry, you did it. Really? I thought it was Microsoft. I don't know. Like, it was a lot of like things at the same time. Like, usually Naka's team leaving. Uh, the team splitting, splitting off for half of it to make secret rings for some reason. Uh, yeah. It's supposed to be a wee port of, or port, quote unquote, of 06. Yeah, they and... They really changed gears halfway through. No, well, uh, well, what, what yeah. happened, what I understand what happened is, um, they didn't know that the Wii was, like, so underpowered compared to the competition. So, w when they got Wii, the... Development development kits for the Wii. They were like, we we can't make like 06 on this, so they just made something new. I mean, I think it was for the best overall, but I mm, mean, it's debatable. Like <laughs> I mean, I like I like seeing mediocre game. I like o yeah, I like isn't Sonic 06, so. I I like Secret Rings more than 06, but at the same time, if they didn't split the team up, I feel 06 would have been a lot better. Oh God, um, I can't even. I don't even know which one I like better. <laughs> Cause Choose I between your favorite children. <laughs> they're, they're uh, more more like more children. like they're, more they're, like they're the two children I choose not to talk about. Yeah, it's the difference between favorite children and like just the worst. Yeah, you see this children over here called SA2? I love that child. You know yeah. that one called Sonic 3 and Knuckles? I freaking love that one to death. You know Sonic Generation? I love that one too. Yeah, boy. What's that? Sonic, o what, Sonic 06 Secret Rings? Um, Lost World? Who are those guys again? <laughs> I don't know them. Yeah. I have a son? Oh god, I have two of them! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I I killed the uh, one of the flying guys off like off the main arena, so that's just a power core like like our bounds. Yeah, that power core just taunting you. Haha, <laughs> you can yeah, get just, me. It's all the way down there. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, whatever, mate. <laughs> yeah, honestly though, the the fact that you can also get ringed after your team attack, I think yeah. that's kind of broken. Yeah, I mean, you you literally always have it up. Yeah, the, the, these are the easiest for Chaotix. Uh, like the, these ro robot um, rushes, if you will. The robot, robot storms. Yeah. I mean, isn't that the name of one of them in um, of, the Mystic Mansion? Yeah, that's the second one, yeah. Robot Storm? Yeah. Is it, it's Robot Carnival in this one though, right? Or yep. Yeah, this is uh, uh, that. Carnival. Yeah. Wow, actually, I actually had it. I didn't even pay attention to the screen though. I, I was just kind of pulling it out of my ass. <laughs> I, wonder they were I wonder they got a name from an old OVA. It was an OVA. It was a movie that came out in Japan in the '80s. Mm. <laughs> the, um... Really? <laughs> Why didn't you just send out the hard ones? Come on, mate. <laughs> He says that I mean, later. It's really so... not rocket science. If you really wanted, if you really, really thought about it and really wanted to destroy your enemy, you would have sent out those big armored ones. That's always Man's the... a dumbass. Let's just remember that. Well, I mean, remember, like that. IQ of two hundred still doesn't do shit. 
I mean, he's not smart enough to routinely decide to... I mean, he's not smart enough well, to the... fucking think that these monsters that are beyond his control can, you know, listen to him. Exactly. Well, I mean, this... And also, this, he loves dick cannons. The, the, well, I mean, this isn't, like, actually Eggman, but still. Well, true, but my point still stands. Yeah. I mean, that, that's it's also <laughs> just it's also just a thing with villains in general. They're always, like, at the start of the game. Oh, you're because not. If you did that, that series would end. <laughs> well, it's also that, and just the fact that I usually just like, oh, you're you're not worth worrying about. I'll just send like a monster to get you, and then by the end of the game, you're like super powerful. It's like, oh crap, I should have killed you earlier. <laughs> you know, Power Ranger. Espio and Charmy are not on the right. So they need to be switched. So yeah, uh, say, Rail Canyon. What, the villain sending out some shitter monster to fight the main heroes? That sounds like every single Power Rangers series I've ever watched in my life. Yeah. So this, uh... Well, um... justified every once in a while, but yes, a lot of the villains are just lazy. So yeah, this, and um... then they finally get to the yeah, final episode, though, and the final boss is, like, super uber powerful, and the power of friendship always wins. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I've literally seen this formula for, like, so many years. Like, I'm trying to think... Oh crap, I didn't mean to do oh. that. What the heck was that? Well that here well that heroes is rail mechanic, jumping switching mechanics kicking in right there. That's the first time it's happened in this playthrough. <laughs> I don't know what it is though, but for some reason when you don't hold B though, it it, it it grinding switching from rail to rail just sucks for some reason. Yeah. It's annoying because it's like um, as janky as SA2s could be sometimes, it was so fun to, like, get so much speed. Whereas, in this game, you don't really have any of that, or, like, the trick system. So it's like, it loses the fun of SA2s, and it's even more janky than how that game did it. And um, it's just, yeah. Don't worry, he's a professional. 